showed us how to get the mane ready for the horse shows, but how in the world do you make or help him grow this mane? The best way to get a mane to grow is to not do anything to it. You want to put it in a place where the horse can't step on it, where you can't, where it stays out of your way when you're riding. I put a braid into his mane that stays for six weeks or so. And every six weeks I take it down, I wash the mane, I use a conditioner, and I put it back again. And then I'm not messing with the mane at all. I'm not brushing it, I'm not handling it, except for once every six weeks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna split his mane up into six sections to make six braids. Each braid is gonna have six parts. You're gonna start with three, and then you're gonna add three from a French braid. The reason that I do mini French braids is that the point of pull is not in one place if you took three pieces of mane, but it's a wider space, so therefore there's less likelihood that the mane is going to fall out or get pulled out. This is going to be our first braid. So we're going to flip the mane away, okay, and we're going to get six pieces out of this. Easy to remember, six braids, six pieces. One, two, three is your starter braid. So you're splitting the mane in half. Again, you're not gonna make it too tight, but you're gonna make it tight enough that it's gonna stay in for six weeks. So we're not pulling up this time, we're just braiding loosely. Again, when you come down, you add section one. Come across, down, add section two. Across, down, add section three. All of it. So you have your six pieces of hair and your little French braid, and then you're going to come down. put it just tight enough that it's got some play in it. And then the second rubber band I put a little bit higher. That's my safety rubber band. That one keeps everything from coming out completely. Again, leave some play in it. And that's your first braid. So now we're going to do our second braid. Should I say names? No. So is it always six or is that just your um, your formula for this particular six, horse's mane? Six works best for his mane. I've done it less um, and the braids get too fat and I've done it more and then the braids get too skinny. So six generally works for his mane. So you have to figure out on your own horse what works best. Um, again, this, this is generally how people keep their horses when they want to keep the mane long. There are Frisians um, who are shown with a short mane. Um, people decide that they don't want to keep the mane, which is fine if you're not going for breed inspections, if you're not going for breed shows. If you want your horse to look like everything else that's out there, you can pull the mane, and you can take off the feathers. In fact, in 1966, there was an FEAI rider in the Midwest who showed a Frisian mare. I believe her registered name was Jeltsa or something like that. They changed her name to Bold Contender. They showed her in the FEI, and she was shortlisted for the Olympic team. And that was the first Frisian that was ever really shown FEI, and it was in the United States, but nobody really knew she was a Frisian because again, she was shown with no feathers, with a short mane, 
and she looked like everybody else but was a big black beautiful horse. A lot of people also do not clip the bridle path. Um, if you're showing again in breed shows or you're going for curing, which is a Frisian inspection, you want to show as much mane and as much hair as you can. And you don't braid it. Also, if your horse has small ears, his father had incredibly small ears, he could slip the bridle, which means that the, if he moved his head a certain way, the bridle would go over his ears. So what I used to do is not make a bridle path, take my first piece of hair over the crown piece and braid the bridle onto his head. <laughs> and that worked really well. They do that also with driving horses. If you have a four in hand and one of your horses slips the bridle, you're in a lot of trouble. So they leave the hair long and they actually braid it around the bridle. The same thing is done with the forelock on occasion. If you want to keep it out of the way, I leave mine full as we discussed, but some people will braid it all the way down and wrap it around the side of the bridle to keep it off the horse's face. Again, you have so much hair to deal with. Everybody has their own way of doing things. There are all kinds of different ways to braid these horses. A lot of them are shown also with a woven braid or a weave. It's an open pattern with rubber bands and it crisscrosses all down the neck and is one solid piece. But I find... Is that perfectly acceptable for the currings as well? or For currings, you have to have everything loose. No braiding whatsoever. They want to see the length and the beauty of the mane, the horse and its natural. Um, as far as braiding for USDF, there is absolutely no rule on braiding. It's all to your discretion. Um, most people braid as a courtesy to the judge. But again, when you're doing breed shows, the longer the hair, the blacker the horse, the better you're going to do. Of course, they look at confirmation also, but that's the breed characteristic. Black, hairy. rubber band and again this is how Micah is going to live for six weeks until it's time to take this out. Again we're going to wash it with a mild shampoo, use a conditioner, nothing too slippery, find a product that does not have silicone in it because the hair will break um, and that's it. That's what we do.